this is called fd5bt so normally we will use for the calibration nowadays in the phone from nalta and this is the power switch we need to make it on if it is on here it's on it is here off and this is the usb cable which is connected to the laptop on the laptop we need to have the color central this is the color central software we are i was opening the color central and if you are adding the computer is the printer first time on the calibration color central you can go for the checks and you can start checks there you can find this printer then select the printer and select add to list and the which one already added now so for me so it was not so it was showing uh, already added or else it will add it then close now we can select the printer ip it's 165 this is the one so i was just selecting the uh, 6100 printer and pressing connect now this is the one what we are getting so now we are going to perform the calibration so i am selecting the calibration on the calibration while you are performing initially first we need to check the settings go to the instrument and you can select what instrument you are using normally i was, I was using here fd 5 bt so i was selecting fd 5 bt so here m0 m1 and m2 are there because of uh, their uh, a light source difference m0 is the without uh, without uv filtration and m1 is the with uv filtration normally for uh, calibration we will use the m0 only for if you are making the g7 calibration then you need to use the m1 and this is for the, if you are using the i1 then you can select the which i1 you are using so i was selecting the m uh, this one i was selecting this the uh, m0 fd 5 bt and in the settings what is the paper size you are using paper type so i was normally using the coated gl so i was selecting the coated gl if you are using any other paper then you can select this one but uh, if you can uh, use the coated gl the density will come good so i suggest you to go with the coated gl and i was using the screen one on the machine so i was selecting the screen one and press okay oh i was unable to start the calibration uh, the machine was in the auto calibration now i will make it uh, enable now i was using the auto calibration hence it was not connected so i was just want to i was made it now uh, like to the instrument i will make it auto calibration off and i need to disconnect this phone and i need to connect it again Now I am going to the calibration again. Now we can see start calibration. Now I am making the calibration start, and I am printing. So I was selecting tray two. I was selecting the bypass. Here I was loaded the 3090 paper of the 177 to 16. And I can say print. So now I am waiting for the print, which is showing on the patches here. Once I get the print, then I will start it to go. So before you are getting the print, you can press start. Once you press start, it will grey and it will say. See, now press and hold down the colorometer and press OK. So now I need to. You need to hold the hold it down. So you need to keep it on like this. so the colorometer will have the white reference with white reference you need to clean it properly with the cloth or uh, with need to it should be there clean then this is the lock 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 one this one this you need to keep it then you can keep it on the same then you need to press it like this so you need to press it if you see that moment you need to press like this then you can press okay so you need to press and hold like this it will take some initial white reference values so now measure with the scale so now you can press okay and we need to get to we need to wait for the uh, print which is coming out once we get the print then we will try to measure it now i got the print so i was keep bunch of the papers down side at the same paper then i was keeping the calibration sheet which was printed right yeah, now right. and I was keeping the scale on here see while keeping the scale you can keep like this little bit the that one is right the uh, letter was coming right letter was saying so like it can keep like this 
straight and you can read with the scale. So while reading, you need to press this. While reading, you need to press this. And you can see here, the patch will come out. You can go to the next thing. So I am. Now you can press here register. Press OK. So now you will get the values. What is the values you have? You can see individual values also. You can see the individual values also. Like if you can see yellow, cyan. So what is the cyan target value and what is the value previously before calibration? What is the value we have? So now we need to know either after calibration our values are good or not. So for that we need to make accuracy measurement. Again it will print the same sheet after calibration. We need to perform the same again. We need to do the same uh, step, all the steps repeat it again. So I was keeping it again on the scale, old reference and I will press in start. And you are asking me to push it down. I was pushing down. And I was pressing OK. Now you are asking me to measure. Press OK. You can. You should not keep this one. You need to remove it. And you can keep the new. Now you can press OK. Now it's no register, it will only say OK. Now we can see target before calibration after calibration so if you remove the before calibration now you need to see after calibration before calibration all the values are good or not same like magenta same like yellow same like black if you can see here we are getting this values average delta e average for the gray so it's 2.51 and maximum 4.59 this value should be below 5 and this value should be below 9 so if it is there, that looks good. If it is more, then we need to check for, uh, we need to do the more, uh, is there any issue with the machine or what, we need to check in the hardware side. To stabilize more, we can go for the exact color. This is the advanced calibration of the code from Manalta. So then you can perform this advanced calibration also. Then press the next. Then even now this time we will print this star and we need to make this five times. So one by one we need to make the five prints and we need to make the five times print out and we can do the same calibration and we can check the delta E value again. So once you are given this print again, again we need to start same like the previous one and it will ask you to press it down, press, press it down and press OK. okay. 
like this you need to press it down and then press ok on the screen so now it will take the initial calibration of the white reference again and uh, once it is done then it will show measure with the guide Okay. 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 And I got the sheet now, so I need to uh, start from 1 and I need to start from 20, so I was uh, reading that. From here. So I am starting from here and I am ending with the sheet. If you get the error like this while you are reading the patch which means that the patch was not read it properly and we need to read the same patch again now i have completed the, all the patches so now i was pressing next again so the first one is completed now we need to go for the second one press next and again we need to repeat the same again we need to print it again and print Again, we need to press start. I'm pressing down and I'm pressing OK. And I got it again, matches the measure with guide. The calibration was completed by reference. So I was doing the, I was getting the new sheet again. So I was removing this old sheet out and I was taking the new sheet and I was repeating the same steps again from the start. So we need to make like this, either we can make it 3 or we can make it 5, depend upon your uh, convenience. If the machine is coming good, then it's better okay, you can go for the 3. But if the machine is not good, then we need to print up to 5 and we need to take the average of the 5. I was completing again once again, not the same repeat step. Again, I was completed now, so I was pressing next again. See, now again, I was get the delta E value here. If you want to finish it, you can press is OK. So, the value was coming good for me, I was printing OK. Or else, if you want to continue, you can continue up to next FB2 and FB1 and FB2 and fp3 also so as of now for me as the value is good so i was pressing ok now we can see here so delta e exact color 3.42 and the maximum value is 12.11 so i was registering with the fb1 registering with the exact color value so this is the value which i am registering now So this is how we need to perform the calibration and the advanced calibration. Here also we have one more option called we can do the G7 calibration also for if you the people those who want more gray so they, they think we can do the G7 calibration but the G7 calibration we need to change the dip switch on the machine. I believe it's 55 one I'm not sure but I will keep it in the description what is the dip switch number if you want to keep that uh, dip switch then you will get instead of that uh, exact color here you can find g7 calibration so you can use the g7 calibration and the test pattern also will be remains uh, looks different and we need to make the two copies again for that and we can make the machine stabilize and the gray the people those who are looking for the more gray then go for the g7 and the people those who are looking for the mixed color or stabilization then go for the exact color on the conic common altar 
So now the exact uh, uh, calibration was finished, then we will perform the printer profile.